Hello, and welcome to Learn Stuff with Onan. I am Onan Wintercrow, and today I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about the difference between fish crows and American crows. Before we get into this lesson, um, as a side note, check the video description for any related videos on this topic. So, fish crows and American crows. We have both of them here in the deep south. Um, the differences. There's three things that you're going to be able to tell the differences between the two, and that's going to be location, behavior, and sound. Sound is the only one that is 100% like this is the difference between these two. The other two, you can make some pretty good reasonable deductions. Uh, so let's go over location first. American crows can be found pretty much throughout just everywhere. Uh, they're all over the place. They're all over the country. They're all over just about every state. You can find the American crows pretty much anywhere. The fish crows, on the other hand, uh, they typically try to stay around areas that have water. So think creeks, lakes, rivers, the coast or the ocean. Uh, you will find those crows around those areas. Um, over here, there is a map brought to you by allaboutbirds.org and the Cornell uh, University. Uh, it's a great website to go to if you're wanting to learn some stuff about birds. Uh, I've gone there quite a bit. Uh, they have a lot of information on a lot of different birds. It's worth a check out if you've never been to that website. But this map right here shows you the location, the territory of fish crows. Now, I think from my own personal observations, I have seen fish crows as far north as the Tennessee line. They are a little bit further north than what this map shows. So, if you are in one of those areas on this map where it shows you're not supposed to have fish crows, but you are seeing fish crows, leave a comment in this video. I would like to know, and uh, I will report that to the uh, Cornell Lab of Ornithology. The second thing to look for is behavior. Now, these are things that I have personally observed by working, you know, by you know, by working with these with these birds out in nature and watching them, and you know, trying getting close to them. Um, Behaviors of American crows, they seem to be less skittish on the ground and more skittish when they are up in the trees. The fish crows are the exact opposite. They seem to be really skittish on the ground, but once they get into, you know, once they get in the tree and they're watching everything, they seem to be less skittish. I'll give you some examples. Uh, if you see a crow come down onto the ground and they're casually just kind of walking around and checking stuff out and they're eating on the ground, that's a big one that I've noticed. Um, if they're eating on the ground, there is a much higher likelihood of it being an American crow as opposed to a fish crow. The fish crows, whenever they find food on the ground, they're kind of touch and go, guys. They'll swoop down, grab the food, and then they're off again. They take it up to a tree to eat it. Uh, haven't really seen too many of those guys eating on the ground. I have seen a lot of American crows eating on the ground. Uh, the American crows will also eat in the trees, you know, take their food and fly up to a tree and eat as well. Uh, but they have a higher likelihood of staying on the ground and kind of meandering about checking stuff out than the fish crows do. Uh, once they're in the trees, like say I'm walking down the road and I see some, you know, see some crows up in a tree. If they immediately take flight and they seem a little, they're like, oh my gosh, something's moving. I got to get away. I've noticed that more often than not, that is an American crow. The fish crows will actually stay up in the tree and kind of watch you as you're doing stuff. Uh, American crows will do that too, although, like I said, they do seem to be more skittish. They have a higher likelihood of taking flight when they're up in a tree and, and going away uh, than the fish crows do. The fish crows will stay up in a tree and kind of casually watch what's going on. Uh, so that's some behavioral differences that I personally have observed uh, out in nature and just sitting and just watching and taking notes in my, in my journal about them. And these are patterns that I have started uh, started to, to run across. And more often than not, when I see those behaviors, I'll think to myself, like, I bet that's an American crow. And I will wait to see if they call out, because that's really the best way to determine which of the two crows that you're dealing with. So I'll see an observation, I'll be like, ooh, that, he kinda, there's some food on the ground, he kinda swooped down, got it, went up in a tree, I bet that's a fish crow. And I'll sit and I'll wait until I hear him call out 
and then I'll write that down in my journal. That's how I verify which crows I'm dealing with. Which brings me to our third way of being able to determine which crow you are dealing with or you're observing, and that is by sound. Uh, fish crows and American crows have two completely different sounds. And uh, I'm gonna give you an example of those sounds now. Uh, this next video clip is of American crows sounding off. So this is what American crows sound like. Now, this next video clip is what fish crows sound like, and you're gonna notice that they sound real different. They almost, fish crows almost sound like they're playing little kazoos, um, instead of like a oh! kind of sound, it's more of a ah, 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 kind of sound. Um, one thing, I don't think it's in the video, but one way you can really tell the difference, fish crows will say, uh-uh, you'll hear them say that. So they'll be up in the tree, you'll hear like, uh, 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 uh. If you hear that, uh uh, that is 100% fish crow. Uh, that lets you know that you're dealing with this bird. This next video is of some fish crow so that you can guys can learn what they sound like. So there you have it. There are three different ways that you can tell what kind of crow you're observing or dealing with or trying to get close to. Uh, if you liked this video and you found it useful, uh, feel free to hit the like button. If you have any questions or accolades, uh, put them in the comments and let's have a chat about it. Uh, if you'd like to keep up with further videos that I'm gonna be putting out real soon, hit the subscribe button or do all three. Uh, would be much appreciated. I am Onan, and I will see you guys next time.